I've always felt that I've, I've had a connection with nature. It's always where I've been happiest. Regardless of what happens, if a bill's on the doorstep or there's a problem in your life, and you come down here and you stand next to the beach and you hear the waves rolling in on the shore and you've got a, a breeze in your face and you see dolphins swimming past. That's priceless. To me, you, you, can't, you can't buy that. The biggest problem really with the rubbish is you get overwhelmed and anybody who does this will know that it's, your heart sinks. You know, you go out and you have a good day and you clean the beach and a few days later, a week later, it's the same again. So when Sky came along with the, the Ocean Rescue campaign, I, I thought it was a great idea to use it as a platform to go out to the wider public and to try and get people involved to learn, to understand the nature of the problem. We'll go down and blitz those areas and then we'll see how we're doing on time and then we can move on to another area. It's not my individual rubbish, but I'm cleaning it up. I recruited people to do social media, all volunteering, just like me. They went out, people talked to each other, used Facebook, they used any means as they could. The local newspaper donated adverts. So it all came together. People have been talking about it and genuinely getting interested in it. I've had people stopping me in the street this week who said, oh, I saw what you did, I saw the report, it's fantastic, we're going to be there. This is ridiculous. This is three hours and 20 people. Yeah, and, we've, and apart from that, we've burrowed it across fields as well. It's not just back to van up and it's there. We've had to burrow it and fetch it and carry it. And it's going to have to be down to us to clear this kind of rubbish off the beach.